Hey guys, it's the book we are reviewing is Beta by Rachel Cohen. Now this book, oh this book, frustrated me but also intrigued me. It definitely had its flaws but there were still a few things in there where it was like, Arr, I want to keep reading. Plus because we have tribal agreements, I had to keep reading, so that's probably good that we had this for this book, otherwise I probably wouldn't put it down after 50 pages. The first 200 pages of this book I think could be combined into like 50. It was just so slow and there was nothing going on. Definitely like Kayla had said, the last third of the book is like where it finally started to actually like have a plot and the writing got better for the most part. I'm not too familiar with Rachel Cohn. Maybe it was her first go at dystopia sci-fi? It felt like she was trying to be too obvious and like keep pushing like this is dystopia, this is sci-fi. Warning, this review is gonna get kind of spoilery. The main problem with this book is she tries to make it too obvious. When Alicia keeps saying like, oh I had to look this word up, oh I had to look this word up, it's like, okay, we get it. You're a clone. You've established that. I also thought the challenges that Alicia would come up with, for the most part, were too easy. Like, she tells people she's a defect, and they, for the most part, always accepted that. Like, there was never any, like, repercussions until the end. I have a question. Is Biome City a great city? Not a great city? Because they have, like, advanced doctors, but this island is supposed to be the best place, but, like, I don't understand. Stand. This is quite spoilery, but the end of the book just goes like crazy, but like jarring. I understand she might be entering her awful stage. The rape scene, and then like the murder, and then the pregnancy. It was the rape scene was disturbing, and I understand rape scenes are supposed to be disturbing, but it was just so jarring that was repulsive. Which is good for a rape scene, I guess, but it just, it didn't fit. It kind of irritated me that they kept saying that Alicia was like a symbol of the insurrection. I think they explicitly state that two times and it's like very Hunger Games-y to me. And just because Hunger Games do do doesn't mean no one else can ever do it. Overall, this book I've read better dystopia, I've read better sci-fi that wasn't so obvious. Obvious is the word of this review. As for whether or not I'll be reading the sequel, I kind of want to now just because of what happens on like the last page and I just need to know. And like Kayla said, there is promise like that it will get better, at least the writing and the plot. Overall, I gave Beta two stars out of five stars. Let's move on to December and what we will be reading. So there's this author recently that I have come to fully adore and she's amazing and that is Rainbow Rao. She recently put out this book called Fangirl which I actually bought because it was half off. This book however is like 400 pages and I didn't want to break the rules so I'm picking another book of Rainbow Rowell's called Attachments. So Attachments isn't YA, it's Rainbow Rowell's more like adult book and it's about this guy who works at this newspaper but he's in the IT department and what he does is read all the emails that are flagged as inappropriate or like troublesome. 